Welcome back to Western Mass News, your school authority, where a local high school student is speaking out about the MCAS testing this year, sending a letter to local and state officials concerned about taking the test in person. Our Western Mass News reporter, Jordan McCool, spoke with the student to see what he'd like to see happen. Alexander Santiago Alvarado is a senior at Holyoke High School, moving from Puerto Rico in 2016 without speaking English. I have been working so hard since I got to the U.S. and before to have good grades, to excel, to, you know, portray a good picture of myself. Now he's bilingual, a straight A student and in the top 10% of his graduating class. But he won't graduate unless he passes the MCAS, which is still scheduled to take place this spring. I might not go to college and pursue my dream in which I came to the U.S. in the first place for it. Because of this test, it's... I don't even know how to describe it. Like you get sad, but you get angry, and it's just a mix of feelings. He's gotten into his dream school, University of Massachusetts Amherst, with the hope of studying psychology. But now that could be in question if he doesn't take the standardized test, something he doesn't think is fair this year amid the pandemic. It's affected everyone, and I feel like it's not fair at all for us to expose ourselves like the students and for the teachers either because they, they need people to prompt the test. Testing is still scheduled to go on and during the latest DESE board meeting, Education Commissioner Jeffrey Riley said they're still talking about the test. We acknowledge the number of students, schools and districts affected by COVID has increased. We are continuing to look into the options available to us for the testing that is occurring in the winter. Riley says they are also looking at how the exam will be administered. We are exploring a number of options, including the potential for at-home testing, which might, and I want to stress might, be available in certain limited cases. But Santiago Alvarado tells Western Mass News he hopes his letter sends a message to DESE officials. What I'm really hoping we get with the letter is just raise awareness that it is not the time to take the test, and in the end, not having to expose ourselves to take it. And new information about the standardized test, the Department of Elementary and Secondary Education, or DESE, said it, it is pushing back the testing schedule for the MCAS and access tests for the current school year. Included in the changes, 11th graders will no longer have testing in the January-February window for MCAS tests. Instead, that will take place later in the year. Testing windows for the other eligible students has also been extended through February 12th, an additional week. And to read Desi's entire statement, head to our free Western Mass News streaming app. Jordan McCool, Western Mass News.